Hey guys, welcome back to Fitness Den. Uh, today, I got a uh, build for you. Well, not really a build. What we're going to be doing is repairing a rope uh, that's been used a few too many times on the rope climb. I'll show you the rope and what we're going to do it with. It's going to be a, hopefully a pretty simple uh, fix. Okay, here's the rope. As you can see, it's had a lot of rope climbs on it. This is compliments of my gym. They were cleaning house. I figured I could use it for something. Here are the tools, not many. It's a pair of dikes, knife if I need it, hacksaw, duct tape, and some wire. Okay, so let me sit you back down here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut the rope to a good section. So I've got my uh, bench here to help me out because it's got a gap right from where I sit to the back so I can saw it in there. So I'm just going to Lay the rope in there, hold it down, take my hacksaw, hopefully this will work all right, hold it tight, Cut it pretty clean. I'll show you. I guess you can see that from there. It's a pretty clean cut. Bring the other end up. Same thing to this end. Guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel. As you can see that I'm going to peel a couple of these layers back on this edge. And let's see. I'm going to take it down to two foot. Okay guys, this end on the two foot mark, uh, this is a three strand rope, I'm going to cut two strands of it. strand left it's a three strand rope okay I'm gonna take the other end I'm gonna peel back two feet Strand. 
Alright guys, so on this rope, uh, end of the rope, I have two strands. On the other end of the rope, I have one strand. So what I'm going to do now, let me clear some of this stuff off here. I'm going to bring it up here. Make sure you guys can see here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take these two ends. This might take a minute or so here. And I'm going to weave them together. So, I guess you can see that okay. So, it'll turn out the same thickness as the rest of the rope. All right. So, I've got that weed together. The next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire here. I'm going to do something here. Just going to start about six inches up from where the rope is cut. Twist it around kind of tight. Snip the excess off. Pinch that shut. Now I'm just going to work my way around the rope, pulling it tight. Guys, this is just pretty much to hold the strands together because once the rope is somewhat tight, it's never going to pull apart because of the way it's wrapped.
right guys, so I'm just going to snip the end of the wire. I'm going to pull it through and under the other side of the wire. Tuck it in there. Okay. So you can see the rope is together. I'm going to trim up a little bit of these pieces here. It's not really that big of a deal. Just cut them off at real quick. Just little frame pieces. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just run a little bit of duct tape straight on around it. Now guys, I am not going to use this rope to climb, although it should be plenty strong enough for that. For one reason, it's going to be too short. You can do short rope climbs with it. But for another reason, I've already got another build in mind to use this rope for. That's one reason I have to do this. Okay, there you go. The rope's together, and believe me, it's good and strong. It's woven together, wired, taped shut. Like I said, I'm not going to use this for rope climbs. I'm going to use it for another build that I have coming up, which you guys will probably want to see this one. It'll probably be out another week or two. Got to find time to get it. But there it is, guys. So you got your end here. You can uh, pull, you, you could do short rope climbs with it if you want. It's perfectly fine, but why throw it away when you can use it? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Stay healthy, stay fit, stay strong. I'll see you soon.